Hi guys, Jen and Gizar here. Sorry for my dirty glasses. Sorry for my messy room with all of the drums. I know, crazy. Um, I am here because I'm super excited to tell you about something. I literally can't even handle how dirty these glasses are. Can I do this without these? I think so. We'll be okay. Anyway, I'm here because so many of you have asked for an inside peek into our liturgical planner. Okay, let me give you some background. We've been doing this planner for the past, I think this is our third year. Am I right about that? Oh, I think this is our fourth one. I should have brought all of them over so you could see what they all looked like. They're all amazing and beautiful and the evolution of them has just been so, so cool for Blessed Is She in the community. So actually the planners first started out of a desire from a woman in one of our regional Facebook groups. And she said, I'd really like to find a liturgical planner, like a planner that's really similar to Simplified Planner and Day Designer and planners that you can find at Target, but that already have all of the feast days, holy days of obligation, novena start dates, all of those special days that our church offers to us to grow deeper in the faith, to learn more about our beautiful church, to learn more about the saints. So she was like, is there something like that that exists? And at the time there wasn't, there wasn't anything that was like that. And so we really sought out to create the very first liturgical planner for Catholic women. And of course we wanted to make it really beautiful. We wanted to make it something that you would want to reach for every single day and um, just kind of be able to really be inspired by, not just something that you're really writing down all your to-dos, but that it inspires you in some way as well. So every year we've had a theme for the planner. And this year our planner is all about light, which is so cool. I don't know if you've noticed, but so many of our things this year have been about light. We have the shine retreat, which is all about light. We have the light of mercy candle that just came out a few weeks ago. That is gorgeous. Go find it in the shop. And then our planner, which is all about light as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like for those of you who want to know and haven't seen it yet. So um, this is the box that it comes in. It says your light has come and that is from Isaiah 61. Um, so the cool part about all of our planners is that it's not just, you know, inspiring quotes or things that um, are going to motivate you to get through the day. It's really all inspiration from the Lord. So we have Bible verses for every single week in our planner. You can use those to memorize the verse. You can use those to just pray about every single week when you open up your planner to prepare for your week. Um, and then on top of that, we also have saint quotes that are used for every single month. And every single saint quote that we have in those months have to do with light as well. So I'll give you some examples when we open it up, but this is what it comes like when you get it. This is actually the mini size. We have two different sizes. This is the mini, which is six by eight. And then we have the big, which is the original. And that is eight by 10. Um, as you can see on the big as well, it is gold foil and it says, let there be light. Um, so your light has come, let there be light. All about light, guys. This is just getting started. We are just getting started. Okay, so let me show you what the big looks like. I'll actually, I guess, flip you over so I can show you it from the top. Let me do that now. So here is what the planner looks like on the front. Again, it's all light themed, so. It is just so inspiring and I'm super pumped to show it to you. Okay, so let's open up the first page. You have a front cover pocket, which is so handy for any receipts or papers or to-do lists that you need to stick in there. It's super nice. Here's the, the inside cover page. And then it's all, again, about Let There Be Light. This is just a sweet little letter from me that you get right at the beginning. So then let's look to the yearly calendar. Not only do you have all the months for the whole year, but you also have all saint feast days as well as holy days of obligation on this page. Let's take February, for example. The second is the presentation of the Lord. The third is St. Blaise. The fifth is St. Agatha, etc. So um, let's go to the next page. And the next page you will see are holy days of obligation. Right here, holy days of obligation. And then right here is where you'll see novena start dates. The next page is where you're gonna see favorite prayers from the Blessed Is She writers, which is just really fun and a nice little resource if you're looking for something to pray, especially for today. Um, so that's a couple pages of prayers. And then you'll find one of our favorite pages, which is the Mysteries of the Rosary. Um, it's just so handy to have those. I find myself 
asking the girls all the time when we're praying the rosary, my daughters and I, I'm like, what are the mysteries for Tuesday? Where it's the Tuesday, like what are they? And it's all handy and right here. The next page is a tabbed page. So this is the tab for August because this is an academic planner, but we also have the calendar planner, which will be available soon. Um, so on all of our tabbed pages, we have a really beautiful segment of the saint quote for that month. So for example, this saint quote is, he will transform us in flames of love by St. Therese of Lisieux. So this is our monthly layout. As you can see, there are a few things to notice here. Firstly, we have the previous month. Then we have this month's layout. Then we have next month's layout. You'll also see a don't forget column right here, which is super handy. And then you're like, what are all these crazy colors? The colors are all the liturgical colors that we, that the church offers us to remember specific days. So actually, if we go back to the beginning, before the yearly calendar, we actually give you a little layout of what an example month looks like. And on this layout, we explain to you what every single liturgical color is used for and why the church has offered it to us. So this is a really handy page if you're like, what am I supposed to do with this section? This page is super helpful to figure out why we did what we did in this planner and really answered your questions and answered um, what you guys wanted in a planner. Okay, so that's what all the colors are about. You'll see a lot of things written down on every single day. Those are all the same feast days. You'll also see Holy Days of Obligation are marked really boldly for you to know exactly when a holy day is. So when you are looking at your month, you can be able to remember that there's a holy day of obligation on August 15th. Let's make sure we get to mass that day. You'll also see the saint quote up here. This is again from St. Teresa of Lisieux. Jesus will come to look for us and however far we may be, he will transform us in flames of love. So it's just a reminder that the saints are walking with us, the saints are praying for us. It's just a beautiful and sweet thing to have and that we are able to offer you. Okay, so let's go to the next page. In the big planner, th this is when differences start to happen between the big planner and the mini planner, and I'll explain the mini in a little bit. But in the big planner, this is what I like to call the weekly planning page. So here you're going to find groceries list. The cool thing about this is that you can actually cut out this list, and now you have your grocery list that you can take with you anywhere. The other cool thing is you have the Bible verse for the week that you can either memorize or use in prayer. Then you're going to have a meal planning section. This is designated Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's really beautifully kind of faded out so you can still write your meals on there but know what day you're talking about. Right here you're going to see a to-do checklist. Right here is goals for the month. This is a super blank page for you to write and take down any notes you need. Then we have prayer intentions. So that's a weekly planning page. This you'd, you would really open up and plan your week and look ahead and kind of flip back and forth between your weekly page and your weekly planning page. So let's go to our weekly page. So this is where things get really fun. I'll try to take you a little bit closer. So let's see, let's start on Monday. Monday we have St. Martha. Monday the 29th we have St. Martha. You'll see little circles right here. A lot of people use those to keep track of their cycle, to keep track of certain kids' Um, soccer practice days or just to mark special things for the month maybe even some habit forming stuff did I have my water today did I do um, kind of some other did I do my holy hour etc you'll then see that there's an hourly breakdown for every single day which is super helpful then at the bottom you're going to see kind of a top four things that you want to get done for the day today I will and those are check marked those can be pulled over from your to-do list or just certain goals that you want to set for the day we also have three things here to check mark. Today I loved my body, soul, and mind. So that's really, I exercised, I prayed, and I kind of spent some time in reading or really caring for my mind. And then a gratitude section for every single day. So that is what we have in every single day's layout. You'll also find all the saint days, um, and you'll also see some novena start dates as well. So it's just such an amazing planner to not only help you in your prayer life, but really to walk with you. So that's essentially what this planner is full of. You're gonna have the monthly layout, your pre-week planning page, and then your weekly spread. At the very back, you're gonna see a note section, just basically a ton of blank pages for you to take notes on anything that you need. Then at the very back, you have another little pocket, which is super nice for you to be able to put anything in. 
And that is all for the big planner. Let's move on to the mini. So again, I just wanna show you how cute this box is. And I actually have used this box to hold other things, other kind of papers or things that are important to just kind of hold in one box. So I'm like literally obsessed with our box. How cute is that? Okay, this one hasn't been unwrapped yet. So I'm gonna unwrap it and show you now. So here is the mini and here is the big. Again, the big is eight by 10. The mini is six by eight. This was really made as an answer to you gals who are asking, hey, I really wanna make this more transportable, be able to fit in my bag or my purse. So we made it smaller for you. But there are features that are a bit different, so let me show you them now. Okay, so let's flip over. You're gonna have another pocket, amazing, best part. Then you're gonna have your page to write down your name, phone number, email in case this gets lost. Let there be light. Okay, here are those liturgical colors that I shared with you that are in the big planner. They have their own page here. Here's kind of the explanation of how this mini planner is laid out as well. Then this is really the same, the yearly calendar, uh, all of the saint feast days all laid out for you really easily on this first page. Holy days of obligation, novena, start dates, favorite prayers from blessed issue writers. All the same, right? We're getting pretty similar. Mysteries of the Rosary, that first tabbed page, which a gorgeous hand lettering from Erica Tai be a heart design. Okay, now we go to our monthly page. After this it is where it gets a little bit different. After the monthly page, for every single month in the mini, we've decided to make a monthly planning page. So in the big, you remember, it's a weekly planning page, but in the mini, we do a monthly planning page. So as you'll see here, we have August goals. What's underneath those August goals? Let me pull it a little bit closer for you. We have faith focus, personal, family, work, and fun. So it's really a place to write down all of your goals for the month. Not so much getting into that weekly planning that some people might need, but this is really for just setting your goals for the month. The next page, you're gonna see a to-do section and then your prayer intentions. So let's go to the next page. This is the weekly layout for the mini. If you can remember on the big, it was vertical layouts. Okay, this one is horizontal. Let me pull it a little closer. You still have your weekly Bible verse to focus on for every single week. And then you also have these horizontal way to write out to-do lists and with check boxes. So if you're someone who doesn't really like an hourly layout, but you'd rather have kind of section to put to-dos and to check mark stuff, getting stuff done is always feels so good. You don't worry, we kept the I'm grateful for section to really practice daily gratitude. Okay, let's open this back up. And remember, we still have our Saint Feast days. We still have all of our Novena start dates. Um, we still have our Bible verse for every single week. We still have our Holy Days of Obligation marked. This planner is amazing. It's just a little bit smaller. We did take out some of the features from the big planner just to be able to make it more compact and mini for those of you who want the mini size. We still have a note section right here in the monthly layout, but then again, we have the monthly goal section for you in the mini. So that's essentially it. At the back, you're also gonna find the note section with a bunch of blank pages, which is super nice. And then the back page, with the folder as well, which again, can I talk more about the pocket? I'm like obsessed with it. Okay, so that's all about the planner, guys. I hope that this was helpful to you. As always, you can DM us with questions. You can email us at info at .net anytime you have questions. I'm just so thrilled to be able to offer this liturgical planner for you. I know so many women who have found benefit from it and have just grown in their prayer lives and their love of the Lord through using a planner like this. So whether it be you getting it for yourself or getting it for a gift for a friend, I know that it's a gift that is so meaningful and something that will really help each one of us draw closer to the Lord. So this is all. Hope this is helpful.